Hello, very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Babel here from Epic Gaming Television, and I'm really excited to um, to do my first tutorial. That's right, it's actually a first tutorial on how to stream using very basic software. And I hope that the general masses in Southeast Asia, or maybe even from anywhere across the world that's playing Hearthstone, will have a very dedicated tutorial as to how to stream to Twitch. So let's cut to the chase. Now, this is first of a disclaimer. It is not going to be an in-depth tutorial. It's a very basic beginner tutorial. So in case you're wondering, uh, wondering how we do the high-end production here at UGTV, this tutorial will not cover that. It's more or less the basics. So at least everybody can be on Twitch. And in case you want to sign up for tournaments that require you to stream to Twitch, you can do so successfully. Now, that's say the first software that you will require is called the Open Broadcaster software. Now, that in short is OBS, and this is how you get it. You go to um, Google and you search for Open Broadcaster software. There we go. I think the website is opsproject.com. So, this is the website, etc. You just click on the download button here, and effectively. There we go, it starts there, but that's fine. Leave it as it is and it will run in the background. So that's it, I've already downloaded it and installed it. So no much worry on that part there. That's it, once you install it, this is what you should see. Um, this is OBS guys, so don't worry. I know it looks like a huge mess at, at, at the start, but it is actually very easy and simple to use and I'll walk you through along the way. So that's it, now first things first, you wanna set this up. So go to settings, click on a preferred language for me. It's English, very simple, and um, click apply. Enable cursor over projector, yes I like that because I want to see where my mouse are. And we go for encoding, encoding very simply, X264, use CBR, CBR means constant bitrate where it's very good for Twitch, generally just Twitch. The rest of the other software is just VBR but that's a uh, variable or uh, whatever V stands for bitrate. So CBR is good for Twitch, stay with that, enable CBR padding. And now for bitrate, this is where I want to spend a little bit more time to talk about this because I have friends from the Philippines that will watch this video. And if you are from the Philippines and you're wondering how good your connection can be, you should go to speed test on that. I'm going to show you guys as well. So we go to speedtest.net. And with that, speedtest.net here, just very simply checking the connection, it should suffice. Now it's kind of slow loading on my site, but it should be okay. We'll wait for it to load for a little bit. But generally what you want to see is uh, your max speed rate is something... Oh, there we go, loaded. But the max speed rate is something that you want to take in consideration. For myself, I have about 100 down, as in 100 megabyte per second down and about 50 to 60 megabyte per second upload speed. So I can stream somewhere close to 1200 to about 2000 uh, max speed rate. Of course, the higher you go, the smoother um, the visual looks because more bits get encoded in uh, in that second, right? However, if you have bad connection of somewhere below one megabyte per second, you should, add, you should look at something like 800 or maybe even a thousand max speed rate. That would be good enough for you. And in general, it should suffice. So all you need to do is just click, um, okay, back to the website, right? Just click begin test here. Everything's automatic, let it run in the background, that's fine. Meanwhile, I will try and show you guys here. So about a thousand is okay if you are um, not sure what's happening and if you want to be very consistent just go for a thousand if you have slightly better connection go for two thousand or a thousand two thousand five whatsoever that's fine that's it audio encoding we're looking at 48 kilohertz that's here AAC as well and 128 stereo stereo is good live as basic uh, for this tutorial we're not going to talk about the implications whatsoever so just leave it as it is everything else should be okay so next we go for broadcaster setting here um, you go for live stream of course, you can click follow up only if you want to record, but we are talking about streaming to Twitch, right? So we go for live stream, um, twitch dot, or twitch or slash justin.tv, that's the correct one. We go for server in Asia, Singapore, that's for sure. Now for the play path of stream key, I'm going to show you guys how to get it. Now for today, I have slightly bad connection, that's about 39.47 megabyte per second upload speed. So I guess a thousand should be okay, but generally, yeah, I got about 100 down as well. So that's good. Now to get your play path or stream key, this is where you go. You go to twitch.tv, you get you have to get your own account set it up first. And uh, I'm gonna use my personal account able cast slash dashboard. So this is where you go. So my own account is dashboard uh, is, sorry is Babelcast. So you're gonna have to one to create your account, sign up, log in, do the necessary details. Once you're there, go to dashboard and click on stream key. And easily here you can see that uh, 
there's a show key. Now be very careful because with this key, anybody can stream to your channel. So this is my personal channel that basically doesn't have anything, so that's fine. We click on this, copy it from live all the way to the end. Every single detail should be there. And you paste it here, take the auto reconnect, go for 10. Now this is the delay part. We normally recommend it if you are part of a competition, don't worry about getting too little or too much delay. Just set at 300 delay. For a card game, 5 minutes is good enough. Unless, of course, the organizers request for more, then you do the necessary conversion. Do note that this is in seconds. So we're looking at 300 seconds for delay. Now you can click save to uh, fall or not. It's up to you. If you save to fall, just uh, give it a bit of a name. I would name it as my awesome tutorial. And as you can see here, if you click record, off and on again later you'll have incremental file names so don't worry about that so that's it you should have a stream hotkey here that all this just leave it as it is because for starters we don't have to worry too much about it should be okay so click apply go to video video we're looking at 580 gtx uh, custom resolution now we want to talk about downscale resolution downscale resolution is very simple so now my computer runs at 1080 uh, P, which is 1920 times 1080 as a base resolution. But when I want to stream, especially for people who don't have very good connection, you want to have a downscale resolution so that it doesn't have to stream so much pixel, pixel upwards. And in that sense, it kind of smoothens out the connection as compared to providing a very good high quality definition that has like momentary lags so or have problems streaming because they're staggering and there's visual lag whatsoever. So. For people in uh, the region who don't have very good connection, normally go for 720p. I can try 1080, but I'm not very confident with my if, with even my own internet connection speed. So normally I go for 720. If you are from Philippines or if you have very low, um, maybe say upload speed of uh, I would say below 5 megabytes per second, look for something about 540p or 480p. By 540p, we mean um, the height of the entire resolution. So. This 960 times 540 means 540p, and this is 480p. So yeah, just downscale according to your internet connection. For me, it's 720 here. We're looking bilinear, fastest, 30 FPS because I'm playing on this computer. So you want to have 30. If you're not, if you're streaming from a separate computer and you're getting the footage from another uh, computer that you're playing the game on, so that's having two PCs, fantastic. You can have it at 60. But for me, it's 30. Now, disable arrow is very important because arrow is. Um, a bit of a cosmetic upgrade for Windows and it actually kind of kills the, prof uh, the processor a little bit so we want to have as smooth a connection as possible and disabling Eero looks is fantastic so for me I have the most basic setup ever I don't have Eero up and as well as the fact that I have green, green background because that's the best for streaming really uh, in case of anything happening so video we're done audio very simply just click your own speakers go for microphone your microphones is select from a list there should be pretty okay speaker is just your default speaker as well everything else just leave it as it is now talk a little bit more about this one you use push to talk it's up to you, your preference as well not too much of a delay uh, or problem uh, hot keys is just a shortcut to make your life a lot easier you set that up as well along the way and mic uh, mic boost as well as desktop boost now what this is is basic input boost so let's say for example my mic setting is at um, let's say 50% the mic boost multiple increases it by a fair bit so it's gonna be up to you to increase or not but we all know for sure that there's so many different ways that you can increase your microphone settings and even in OBS there's an another way to do this so we don't have to worry too much about it but this is just a raw input in case you ever have input problem you can come here and try your best to um, add a bit of a boost so that's good so that said, um, click apply again as well, and we have advanced. Now advanced, don't worry any, anything about advanced here. It's more or less um, good function under the default setting. Um, the system kind of runs through it by itself, and everything comes up pretty well. But what I want to what what I want to point out is two main things. If you're streaming to Twitch, two things uh, are very important for you to ensure smooth connection. First of all, is this one under video. Um, very fast is for your computer preset. I have very fast. Some of you may have. Um, not as good a computer so you might want to go for fast or even faster uh, or medium we'll see how far you can go but this is the main one now for encoding profile go for main instead of high if you're streaming to twitch because it's uh, kind of optimized to the setting go so you go for main as well as a keyframe interval of two seconds now this doesn't really affect your stream it just makes sure that you know the transition to twitch for the server is a lot smoother so just go for that it's okay the rest live it as it is don't touch. You don't want to screw up anything. 
Of course, if you want to play around once you're more um, experienced, you can do that and always click default so they can go back to default. That's it, click apply and OK. Oh, sorry, one last thing. The microphone noise gate. I don't touch this, but if you have a very troublesome microphone, you can click that. But um, I don't have it, so I don't have to worry too much about it, so it's OK. So after you click OK, you come back to the screen. And this is the main OBS screen. So what this is, is um, a very simple layout. You have the microphone uh, lever here. You have your desktop default sound lever here. Everything looks pretty OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how you add the game here. Um, so you will have nothing, one scene, no source. What you do is you click preview screen first and you see black screen, yes. This is your canvas. By canvas, I mean this is a, what you see here in a small little box. Okay, oh, I cannot highlight it, but that's fine. Once what you see in a small little box here is what your viewers will see. So now they cannot see anything because you don't have any source, so we're going to add a source. So you go to right click, you right click this. You have one scene, you can click add and um, just go for game capture. Okay, once you click game capture, you can rename it anything and you see you have a list of applications here. Now you realize Hearthstone isn't here because I don't have it up and running just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot up my Hearthstone for you guys and you can go. So you just click Hearthstone. Whether it is in Windows mode or not doesn't really matter. What you want is generally just, just it to be there. So if you don't see there, boot up Hearthstone, click on refresh and Bingo, there we go. Hearthstone comes out very nicely. Click on that. And of course, you want to capture mouse cursor because this is a mouse game, right? Who are we kidding? So, you want to capture mouse cursor for sure and click OK. So, there we go. What happens here is that you see you have um, your game, which I'm going to put here. And you have your OBS, which shows that you have a game in the screen here. So, now your viewers can see your game. However, you will, uh, you, you will realize that the resolution is not perfect. Now, that's because my base resolution, if you remember, is 1920 times 1080. However, my game resolution is only 1366 times 768 and in Windows mode. So, for better uh, viewing pleasure whatsoever, you can either increase this to solve the problem or you can simply leave it as it is and edit through this canvas. What you need to do is to click on edit scene. You will see a bit of a red border. The red border means that you can move it and click it and enlarge it, don't worry. You can in fact drag it out of the program. It's just indicative of how far you want to go. So this is um, an estimation of course. It's slightly troublesome to try and do it via this way, but at least you get to enjoy your own um, resolution of 1366 if you are obsessed with resolution like me because of having multiple screens and stuff that you want to view at. So that's fine. And um, so with that said, your game is up and all you need to do is to click on stop preview and start streaming. But before we go, uh, there, I want to tell you that we have a delay, a 300 seconds delay. So I'm going to remove that first, just for this example, so you can see what happens here. So we're going to click apply, click OK, and back to this dashboard, go to live. We're going to click start streaming. Now that may feel very scary, it is. Normally when you click start streaming, you go live. When you're live, it is one hell of a scary experience. So you have here, very quickly, you will see that this from offline will change to live. And if you tune in to twitch.tv slash Babel Broadcast, as you can see, loading video live, they're getting the feed. Okay, you will come here and you will see that the broadcast Babel tutorial is now live. Anything you want to amend to your Twitch, go to twitch.tv slash your username, which for me is Babelcast slash dashboard. Very simple. Everything you amend from there. That's it. We're live, guys. So I guess that concludes this tutorial. At least now you can stream live. To Twitch and there is not much of uh, much trouble with that said. Of course, you can always add new stuff, you can add images, can add text, video capture device, um, that's your webcam by the way, as well as a window capture or monitor capture if you want to try and show them something on the screen. You can add new scenes, a new scene is just like a new canvas, so if we go and add a new scene here, it's another blank canvas, you switch back up, it's half stone. So this can be your opening scene, this can be um, your game scene. So I guess this is going to be enough for a basics tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy this and um, if you do appreciate this tutorial or if you do 
uh, learn anything from this it would really help me if you click on the subscribe button for the YouTube uh, on our epic gaming television YouTube channel as well as to share this on the Facebook or even um, like our Facebook page and all the links will be below you just have to help me click it I will really be very happy about that thank you that's it have a great day guys and see you guys soon